Hey, this is Peter Graphics, and this is a cloud cover quick tip. So here's a uh, somewhat difficult uh, template that we need to convert into the photo GIS template format. Um, the problem here is that you have a photo and uh, there's a border around the photo. So we want to really keep the border. That's part of the artwork. And we want the, the photo part of it to be placeable. Well, the problem is that whoever did the design here simply took the photo and added an effect to it and that effect gives it this sort of stroke here right so you can't easily separate the stroke from the photo which is really what we want to do we want to really take these pieces the the stroke and we want to combine it into the artwork and so that's what I'm going to show you how to do here it's it's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it so let's first take a look at the uh, the basics of this uh, of this template so if we say image size uh, we see that it's 300 dpi that's good we also always want to add an alpha channel so let's um, do that here okay so now let's get to work so first let's take this stuff here and we're all going to convert this into um, into one layer alright so now we have basically two layers uh, we're going to take this top layer which is this this photo layer here and we're just going to convert it to a smart object and then we're going to rasterize it okay so now we have two rasterized layers. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our magic wand in this first layer and highlight this border, right? And you might have to play with the tolerance a little bit in order so that you're not selecting any of the photo. All right, so we've done that. Then we're going to select inverse. And when we hit delete, we're going to be able to delete the photo. All right, so the photo is gone. Now we want to delete what's under it, right? So we're going to deselect and we're going to select again but this time we're going to select sort of what's inside right remember we're highlighting this layer so when we click the selector wand we're going to get everything inside this frame but now we're going to highlight we're going to select the second layer and now I'm going to hit delete again and now I have a hole right perfect so now what I want to do is I'm going to merge these two layers again I'm going to call them art that's our artwork layer now I want to add our photo so what I like to do when we have these complex holes is I like to put like guides in so it's easy for me to draw my a photo so let's do that now um, in some of the previous videos you've probably seen that I like to put in just a solid um, rectangle instead of a photo when I'm making these templates because it makes for a smaller template that has to get downloaded to your kiosk or whatever or it's easier to upload right so instead of a big old photo I'm just gonna use a rectangle like this so um, let's draw a rectangle based on this and you could turn snap on if you want to be more confident All right, so that's our photo right we rasterize this layer that's our sample photo and we're gonna put it behind the artwork and this template is done.